Okay, this is a short video on doing a, on a set of stairs, a 3D spline. We're going to do a pair of them to match the front edge of each stair. And these are marked three and a half inches in from the edge and then an inch and a half apart. And all the way up. And then, of course, we've kind of cobbled together a couple of boxes to give us enough of a stair to give us a bit of a spline that you can see visibly. To give us context, we're going to create a little 3D section of room here. Um, before I do that, I'm going to set the x-axis. One point to the left on that wall, which will orient the laser to this wall and the drawing to this wall. One point on this side. And it says the x-axis was completed successfully. So now I'm going to drop the construction plane to the floor. Move it parallel down to the floor. So I want to extrude it up. I'm going to draw a perimeter of this wall. Okay, so we've built a perimeter. There we go. Our smart trim tool. Let's connect these up. <clears throat> Let's put it in a uh, isometric view. Let's get a measurement of the ceiling, which is really the measurement from the construction plane, which we put on the floor, to the point that I'm just shooting, which is on the ceiling. And now we're going to extrude this. my extrusion tool. I want to do all displayed. All except one zero zero. And I'm going to paste in our height. Hit accept. So there's our 3D room for uh, some perspective. The stairs are located right in here. So I'm just going to spin this a little bit so that we can watch the uh, splines belt and they'll be sitting right in here so we're going to go to our spline tool we're going to go to a 3d spline and i'm going to do two splines first i'm going to do the the out inside edge and then i'm going to do the outside edge so first the inside and for just a minute here let me show you the view through the laser, you can see exactly where I'm aiming, and I can use the mouse to aim it. I want to hit that point, and I want to hit that point. Okay, let's come over here and take a look. I'm going to hit the, put this uh, toolbar in focus. I'm going to hit the enter key. That builds our first spline. And now we're going to do the outside edges. I'm click on my spline tool again. 3D spline. <coughs> and I guess I can come back down this time. So I'm coming down now on the outside points that we've marked. All right, we'll come back down. Put our 
X point. And my last outside point. And let's go to our drawing again. Keep the toolbar in focus, hit the enter key. There's our second one. So here's the pair of marks on the spline that will define the uh, handrail that you're going to make for the stairs. And if I want to see the points that were actually taken, turn on the points, I can see to the points that were shot. <clears throat> And the 3D, putting up the 3D walls gives you a context. You can tell a little better what's going on with the staircase. Okay. Now let me make everything visible first. I'm going to do a file export. I'm going to send it out as a DXF. I want all displayed. All. And when I select the second all, you see everything turns red. Accept that. And spare... Did the other one a little bit ago. Um, I'll save that. Okay, so now we've got uh, this DXF, this exported as a DXF, and uh, available for whoever's going to make the uh, make the actual railing. 